Fans, I'm here to reveal to you my next building, building number eight, I think it is, in my Minecraft Houghton College campus. And that would be the Payne Center for Science. So we are approaching it here from the Lucky Memorial Building. Here's the Payne Science Center on our right. This building took me quite a while. Um, I wasn't super enthused about building the science building. I've been in there a little bit. I don't know it as well as some other buildings, but for whatever reason, I just wasn't that into it. Uh, until I decided that I just have fun with it. If you've been following along, you know that for many buildings, actually for every building I've built on the Houghton campus, I've included some super secret, special custom locations. And I decided just to make the science building more fun for me personally to build, that I would try and include a lot of just fun rooms, rooms that don't really exist in real life, uh, but that I thought were pretty cool and were fun to build. So we're gonna see a lot of secret, not secret, but a lot of custom special rooms here in the science building. So the Payne Center for Science, here we have on the exterior of the building, we have a greenhouse. This is the, uh, I believe it's called the Margaret Bush Greenhouse. And this is a fun little uh, place to hang out for science majors to grow things, for community members to come and uh, take some free plants they're giving away. Uh, I've seen some painting classes from the art department come in here and paint the flowers. So we, here we have a wide variety of flowers. We've got a little pool with a big turtle and uh, of course a piranha plant built for me by my son Evan. Nice little uh, little addition here to the, the greenhouse. So let's head over here to the main entrance of the science building and take a look. There are four floors here in the Payne Center for Science. And they've made some changes to this building fairly recently, um, even since I have last been in here. So I might not get all the details right. And honestly, there are some things that I, I don't think exist anymore, but uh, that I have fond memories of. So I decided to keep, keep them in, in the building here. So I believe the first floor is physics, maybe engineering as well. Uh, here is the, here's kind of a secret location that really does exist. This is the server room. So this is the nerve center of, uh, the campus here, the computer server room. We better close the door so no one gets in there. And on the most recent floor plan that I found for this building, this is a physics slash astronomy lab. And I decided to have fun with this room and make it into a uh, kind of a planetarium. So here we have the sun and the nine planets surrounding the sun. Yes, I said nine planets. Uh, Pluto will always be a planet to me. It looks like we might have a stray little block here. So let's get rid of that. So here's the, uh, here's the planetarium. I had fun with this one. All right, we've got just various storage rooms and labs on either side. Uh, here is a physics lab, kind of an old school physics lab with uh, some high tech equipment. We've got an anvil, an anvil, uh, a grindstone, and a, uh, what's this called? A smithing table, yes. And of course, a roaring fire. So this was a fun room to build. Um, I've been in this little room here. Uh, it used to be, maybe it still is, it used to be the physics project lab where physics majors could have their own workspace and work on their own projects. And I decided to have them all work on the same project. And here the physics majors at Houghton College have built a time machine. Uh, kind of reminiscent of uh, the Doctor Who time machine, maybe. I've seen that show just a few times. So that's a cool little science thing. Uh, here we have Schaller Hall. 
It is a fairly traditional uh, lecture hall. I think I had one class in here, maybe modern math back in the day. And I've had a number of uh, meetings, meetings in this room when I used to work at the college. So this was a fun room to build, Schaller Hall. So we're now on the second floor, which is, I believe, computer science, math, maybe some engineering stuff. So some pretty basic storage rooms, labs, nothing super fancy. Uh, here is, I believe, what used to be Doctor Who's office. No, not Doctor Who from the TV show. Houghton's Doctor Who, uh, computer science professor. And he has more books in his office than anyone I know. There are probably more books in here than any other place on campus besides the library. So this is what I remember Dr. Who's office looking like. Another fun room, well, not we're not, okay, we're not to the other fun rooms yet, sorry. Jump the gun there. Here's the uh, kind of the administrative offices for the science building. Um, nice view of the, the library there. Here's an, uh, kind of a somewhat nice view of Lucky and the chapel way back there. And here is a just a little meeting room slash conference room. I've had a couple meetings in here as well. Again, another nice view of the, of the library there. So let's head on up to the third floor. Got some cool things to show you up there. Third floor is uh, biology. And again, I don't think this room exists anymore, but this used to be a biology study room area. And uh, one of the signature uh, items in this room was a big old moose head hanging on the wall. Legend has it that Dr. Wolf uh, felled that moose on one of the Alaska trips and, and brought it back. M maybe that's true, I'm not sure. Uh, so a moose head, I think there was a stuffed bear, maybe a stuffed wolf, just some cool uh, stuffed animals, I mean taxidermied animals in this room. Uh, here we're on the biology floor, and I thought it'd be cool to build an aquarium. So here's a little aquarium with some cute little fishies there. And of course we've got some fish-themed artwork on the walls, and some seaweed or whatever that is hanging from the ceiling. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just, yeah, pretty standard labs. Uh, here's a restroom if you want to take a look at a restroom. I've got some nice stalls in here, so fun times. Nice spacious bathrooms here. My daughter, Junior, is sitting next to me, and she is mortified that I'm showing you the bathroom. Here's a cool room. Uh, this is the, well, let me show you the sign. You can see what it is for yourself. This is the Eli Knapp Memorial Aviary. So Eli Knapp, Dr. Eli Knapp, is a professor of birding at Houghton College. Uh, he teaches birdology, uh, or uh, there's probably a more uh, scientific name for the study of birds that is escaping me right now. Uh, but here's an aviary built in his honor. Minecraft doesn't offer us a lot of options for flying creatures, at least that I'm aware of. We've got some chickens, we've got a variety of parrots, and some, some nice bumblebees there. So it's just, this is just a nice place to come, relax, hear some bird, bird chirping, some buzzing of bees. Uh, here's the beehive with some honey. So this is a fun room. We've got a, we've got a little classroom slash lab attached to it right there. Uh, so yeah, that was fun to build. We'll better close that door before the chicken gets out. We're going to head on up to the fourth floor. That's where the chemistry classrooms are. The fourth floor. I, meant. I thought it was the third. No, the th we're on the third right now. That was biology. Oh. So this is the fourth right here. So we've got the little access room for the, uh, uh, the aquarium in case you want to go fishing or feed the fish or jump in, as my daughter said. <laughs> Ooh, it's cool in here. I know. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so chemistry floor. Um, my son Avin and daughter Juniper helped me with the this chemistry lab. We've got some some open flames here for heating up your chemicals, and some um, what are they called? Brewing stands. Brewing stands where you can uh, brew some uh, some legal beverages and chemicals, and got some 
just cool things happening in here. So that's chemistry. Here's another another little lab here. Whoops, I don't want to do that. All right. And of course, a nice uh, nice viewing area to have a seat and view the the magic happening in the Eli Knapp Memorial Aviary. And we've got a classroom here uh, with just a great view, great view of the the little critters back in there. I'm ready for class. So ready for class. So there's one, there's an entire section of this building that I have not shown you. If you're familiar with the science building, you, you may have noticed that I haven't been walking to that one side of the building. And that's because I built a spectacular uh, surprise. surprise in that area and actually built that first. That was the very first thing that I built uh, when I created this building. Um, and then everything else that I've shown you has been added since then. Um, you may be aware that Houghton has a science honors program. So this is a special program for first year science and math students where students uh, work in groups on a project. So they have built submarines, they've built biodiversity robots, they've built weather balloons, uh, some really cool uh, projects. And this year, you may not have known this, but instead of working in groups, the students have banded together on a science honors project to end all science honors projects. So you are going to be the very first to see what they've been working on this semester. They've been working on a rocket ship to Mars. So you are now looking at the USS Highlander, which is, it's, it's purple and gold. So those are obviously Houghton colors. And so the project that these students were given was to build and man or person a mission to Mars. Yeah. So here is the rocket ship and the anticipated launch date for this rocket ship is the last day of the semester. So rem remember, these are freshman students. And so in their first year, they're building the ship. At the end of their first year, they are going to be boarding this vessel and taking off to Mars. And the next three years of their Houghton career, they're going to be in outer space on their way to Mars and then on their way back again to Mars, completing their degree online en route. It's a pretty unique program. So here's what the inside of the ship looks like. Uh, let's go up to the uh, upper level here. My daughter Juniper asking, is asking me if this is true. Of course this is true. Really? So here's the, the uh, kind of the cabin quarters. This is going to be tight. It's going to be a tight, uh, a, a cozy ride with 20, 20 or so honor students. Uh, here's a replica of the bell in the Fancher Hall bell tower. So they can have a uh, every every fifteen minutes or so. This will this will ring and play various songs to remind them of the Houghton campus. So there you are, folks. This is the Payne Center for Science, like you've never seen it before. Uh, let's take a, one last view of this uh, this beautiful creation created by our science honor students. Isn't that marvelous? The USS Highlander. All right, that concludes our tour of the Science Center. Uh, my next building that I have already started just a little bit is the Nielsen Physical Education Center. Uh, we will take a very super quick peek at that. Here's an aerial view of the Payne Center for Science. A uh, really quick view of the Nielsen Center. I have the exterior structure kind of mapped out. Uh, this building is going to take me a while. I haven't really started on the inside and it's a fairly large building. We're flying overhead. We just flew over the chapel, uh, the Center for the Arts. Here's the Stevens Art Studios. Still have a lot of work to do with landscaping and roads and sidewalks, but the campus is coming together. So here's the Nielsen Center. Uh, I've started to map out the kind of the entryway and some of those main classrooms, but 
as you can see, I've got a long ways to go. Well, thanks for joining me and my daughter, Juniper, on our tour of the Pain Science Building. And uh, until next time. Bye. We'll see you later.